Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been um, quite a while since I've done any kind of uh, commentary videos. I just wanted to quickly show how I got a boat ride inside a habitat. Um, I'm sure I read somewhere that you couldn't do it, but I kind of fiddled about with it earlier on and got my boat ride working. As you can see, it was in there with the gharials. Don't worry about any of the scenery or anything because this is literally just a, a test area sort of thing. So, to get started, um, the way I did it first of all was place the gates down. Now, once you've got everything up and done, you can take the gates out, put invisible barriers in, and just decorate to your heart's content because they don't open. Um, probably because it's a boat and not a person walking through it, but I haven't found a way around that yet. So, I started by putting the gates down. Um, fiddle around I'm still getting used to all the controls and everything so I apologize for that and if you can hear my birds in the background I apologize for them as well because they're noisy little critters so I figured out where you know obviously where the gates were gonna go I put the barriers down eventually it does work I think I didn't get that right next to it so I had to delete it again I can't remember yeah there we go so make sure they are attached, unlike mine, which isn't. It's been ages since I played Planet Coaster, so I'm just still getting used to all the controls and some things are a little bit different on um, Planet Zoo as well. I may do some more videos on what I'm building. I am working on a franchise zoo at the moment, kind of like 31 years in, and I've still only got like two exhibits. I'm just trying to build it up really slowly. Um, so anyway, get your walls down, make sure it's all connected, that's the start of your exhibit or your habitat. Put the keeper gate in so it recognises it as a habitat, you can connect that up later on. And then what I did was went in and terrain tooled everything so I can get some water in there. I should have sped this video up maybe, I don't know. I'm really enjoying the game actually, I've kind of spent so much time on it already and I've hardly made anything, <laughs> but that's what it's all about, it's all about creating and exploring what you can do. I have to give a big shout out to YouTuber Paulsley as well because he gave me the idea for this when he was um, showing how to do the boat rides, so check his video channel out if you get a chance. And Geekism of course, because are huge builders on Planet Zoo so they've got lots of tips and tutorials way better than I can do them anyway um, I enjoy watching that stuff anyway put your water in and that is when you get your boat ride up now the other side as you can see oh, I tried to put half of the boat ride on land thinking you know platform go on land boat still in the water doesn't work you have to put the whole platform in the water which is kind of a little bit annoying so position it where you want it. I tried to lower it so I can get the boat but it doesn't seem to want to let me do my advanced move at the moment so I had to put it in and then like lay the track and lower it down to where I wanted it to look nice. Make sure you have tunnelling on when you put this track down because um, as you can see it makes a nice little kind of groove in the ground. And in a minute, when you've connected everything up, you're going to take the water out and put it back in. And it's going to fill all those gaps, which is fantastic. Because that's what we want it to do. So line it up to go through the gates, reconnect. Bob your uncle. This is where I went on to advanced move mode, so that's like control X. Lower it down until it kind of goes red or to where you want the boat to sit. And there we go. So then go on to your terrain edit tools. Take your water out, pop it back in, and boom. And it fills all those little tunnels in, which is fantastic. Then what I did is, I mean, you can do this before or after, whichever way you want the terrain to go. But I took the wall out and then rebuilt it so it went down into the water. So 
obviously there's no escape routes for the critters. I'm really slow at building by the way, so I do apologise. This is probably why I don't do any videos on my builds, because I just I faff around and I play and I take hits apart and I put them back together and then I look through all the different things that I can possibly use and it takes me forever. I don't plan anything out, I just kind of build it. I should plan really. But I'm not a planner, so I don't. So there we go. And once you've got that, you need to click on your boat, put your entrance and exit. This is another thing I was fiddling around with. It's like, why are my paths not connecting? And then I remembered you have to put these on. So, oh yeah, wrong button there. <laughs> In we go. We put our entrance on the correct side. Make sure you do that as well, otherwise they'll be trying to walk onto water. Place your entrance, place your exit. Connect your paths up afterwards. And the pathing is pretty much the same as it used to be in Planet Coaster, which is a pain, but you do get used to trying to work around it and getting it to do what you want it to do eventually. It takes a few tries, but there we go. So you've got your queue line on and then you put your path line on. that bit out. Pop it back in again. There we go. It's not pretty. It's not meant to be. I'm just trying to give you an idea how to get it in and work in. So once you've got your paths in, you need power, which I completely forgot about. It didn't like it, so I went and put a little power thing imajiggy down. See the other one didn't. I didn't put any animals in this side because I know it works as you can see from the other side the garials are in there, the boats are going round, people are on the boats. I just wanted to give you a rough idea how to go about getting it in. So how you decorate that's entirely up to you. Once your barriers are up you can take them out, do natural barriers, um, change the gates. I'm probably going to do one like this with arches and hanging vines and god knows what else and then just put one of those invi invisible barriers in um, so it doesn't look like it's trying to get through a metal gate but anyway hopefully that's kind of given you an idea or some ideas of what you can do yourselves um, keep it running oh one last thing when you set it to run I don't know whether it's just the game being buggy at the moment but I had it all running and then my people were coming up and standing at the queue entrance turning around and walking away again. I'm like, why are you not getting on the boat? It's all working. What's, what's going on? Save your game, go back to the main menu, come back into your game and it worked again. So if you find that happens, that could well be the reason, you know, it could just be a little bug thing. Just try that and see if it works afterwards. But anyway, hopefully a little quick video. Um, I may do some more on Planet Zoo later on down the line. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it.